That's why humans are restricted, because our eyes will only allow us to do this move. You have to not see. And I learned a lot of things from magician students and disciples. Aaron Bartholomew. Mm -hmm. And when you are juggling, you can't look at here. I also learned from my hawk. <laughs> the, at night, I take my hawks out, summertime, I swear I counted with special eyes, one million moths. And I light a light in the yard, put four hawks there. They never miss. And I tried, not possible. Why? Because we are looking at the moth. The moth will go like this. Got it. There are one million. The, moth, the hawk did not know. The hawk is looking into the empty space. When the moth is coming, he got it. He does not wander. And I thought, how fast is this hawk? It's like got written, like tracking 200 spots, special radar. No, it's staring into empty space. Only waits until one crosses that spot he's looking at. If it's here, he doesn't care. He doesn't figure out how, what to do. He's waiting for that one here. He got it. So it's very difficult for us because we immediately use our intent to change the move. Now the story. Nicholas, Nicholas Fong went to the mountain. He started earlier, but he went to the mountain in 2004, very early. By 2014, last, you met him in 2013, right? He was a dancer. His moves were perfect, no martial ability. I got challengers. The size, the size of you, but weight lifting, but external people flex their muscles. And Nicholas couldn't do anything. And these guys did each one. They like, like only threw push, right? And so I said to Nicholas, I said, close your eyes. And because we trained this move, I said, close your eyes. He closed his eyes. And the guy went, and I said, go. He went like this, and he opened his eyes. He said, why did, why did you tell me to do that? What happened? I said, look at that guy. The guy went off the mountain. He blew the guy at least 30 feet away. You know the Ulanga, the Magnolia Hotel, the small one? The yard, it's like probably six times bigger than this place. In the middle, the guy was off the edge. There's nobody else. I said, look, you did it. He said, I didn't even touch the guy. He did not know. He had precision when he wasn't watching. When he's watching, he hesitates. And that's why when you guys say throw him, I don't like to throw him anymore. The reason is, you, do you recall? Like your mind changes. Let me tell you, I used to be able to fight. I can only demonstrate. Now, because you demonstrate so much, the instinct is not there. The fighting is, I'm not going through a demonstration. I'm knocking you down. And it has to be like that. When you demonstrate, show students that, you are one beat off. You never regain it. Now, that's why the good martial artists cannot teach. They don't show you. This is number one story about Nicholas Fong. Have you heard the story about this guy? Uh, this is a North American way of okay, this guy. In China, this is my grandmaster. When I think of him, I immediately go like this. In China, if you don't do that, they will say, I don't want to learn from this guy. He doesn't respect his grandmaster. Chen Fa Ke taught all his life. Not one person dared to touch him. Only teaching by, like, move like that. Nobody dares to come close to him. So these guys were old, and the master was old. So they said, well, before he dies and before we die, we should feel it. It turned out nobody dared to even touch because he was a martial artist. You touch him, you are dead. Like he's not going to train himself to say, hold my arm, power up gradually, and say, oh, sorry, it's broken. He's not going to do that. So I make a story long. Chen Xu was invited to teach a workshop in Malaysia. Now I'm here. I should be there. And I said, you go. You have to become an independent master. He says, what shall I do? 
I said, you don't have the ability like me. Don't demonstrate. They want to try it, you beat him. They will say, show me. I said, sure, come, you're on the floor. I'm not going to break it down. I said, your level, don't break it down. Break it down, they are going to fight you. Right? So I'll, sh I'll show you what this means, right? So he asks, what happens when my, I grab your throat? I said, so you grab my throat? <laughs> I'd be very stupid to say, place your, your hand on my throat, right? It's too late. No, you try, I'll never let you succeed. So at the beginning, you must train that skill. Whatever the question is, you beat him. You never allow, so my first mistake when I came to Canada, two young guys, twins, 22 years old, both. That's because they are twins, right? And I didn't understand English. I knew the normal, everyday English, but the guy says, what if we do a half Nelson? And I said, I don't know what that is. So the guy said, oh, OK, I'll show you. And his brother says, uh, on the floor. And uh, so I said, what do you mean? He said, lie down on the floor. I was stupid enough to lie on the floor. Then he did this thing on me, right? And then he said, yeah, out of this one. I'm already dead. What do you mean out of this one? But you know, I didn't lose because I kicked his nuts. But that's fake, that's, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, that's, uh, 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 what's the word for that? That's a uh, low blow, right? But the problem is, you already allowed him to do that, but as a martial artist, he told me to do that, put me in that position to say, how do you get out of that? That's low blow too, right? But when I, I was naive, I was 24 years old, and I went back to uh, China, asked the, uh, my master at home, and he never criticizes. He says, yeah, next time you should let him kill you and then say what to do, <laughs> right? And uh, not only that, you tell him, it's actually, this is in the movie, Kung Pao, enter the fist. So Hong said, you tell the guy to kill you for sure you're dead, then think of a method to get out. <laughs> so he was just telling me, are you that stupid? You let people get hold of you and, uh, and you say how to get out. Martial art has no counter move. If there is, it's theory. Right? When you have a gun, I don't have a gun. You pull the gun out, what do I do? I said, I surrender. Do you really say, go for here? It's only in the movies, right? And you say, here, here. I dare you. You don't do that. So I have to make sure when you are about to pull the gun, I have to go and stop you. If you, your gun is out, I immediately go into the submission because I let other people see that you are shooting a, a defenseless man, right? Because if I make a move, I'm stupid. So after that, I started doing my workshops. I said, if you have questions, number one, if you have a gun, I lose. Number two, if you have a knife, I don't lose because I will kill you. Because I got a chance, I'll take it. If you only have a fist, I totally ignore you, like you are joking, right? <laughs> because we're equal. When we are equal, why am I afraid of you? Then why are you afraid of me? If you want to fight, we go for a fight. But if you have a gun, no, no question. That's it, if you show me your gun, it's, there's no fight. So it's very, very important. Now back to the story, Chen Fa Ke says, okay, Push hands is one circle. Feng. Uh, somebody was asking me where is Feng's picture the, in New York, right? We have to uh, find you a Feng picture. Feng was the only one. Uh, he was younger, so all the others said, oh, you go try. And he went and tried. Nobody could do one circle. The circle is here. You all saw this, right? Let's fake it like this here. <laughs> So you touch, you are on the floor. You touch again, you are on the floor. After three times, he says, I don't feel good. Went home, threw up. To the touch, let's, I, I can only fake it. I don't have the ability. When you touch, he does this jerk so bad, you go <laughs> air sickness. Now we go back to 70 years. When I say this again, you guys don't understand it. You, you really don't. When we first had motor vehicles, 
every single person, first motor vehicle, 1978. On the smell of gas, everybody threw up. Sitting in the car, everybody threw up. Because we never had any modern thing. Everything is an um, animal. Everything is human-like. First time on the machine, your body can't take it. Today, from day one, you were in the car. Even the crib is moving, that rocking chair, and the roller coasters. It's like you can be a pilot. There is no problem. You can't be worse than that. And by the way, I was the only victim that one time from Vancouver to Edmonton. And we went into 20 minutes of turbulence. It's only an hour and a 15 minute ride. And it's like everybody was praying. And the pilot said, guys, you guys been on the roller coaster? This is not worse than that. Like, and we are in the sky. There's no restriction. Why are you afraid? He says, we're just going for a ride. And I'm not charging you extra. Then all of a sudden, everybody was fine. <laughs> I did not understand it until I was flying to southern China with one of my disciples' kids. And the disciples, the female, says, Master Chen, can you hold him? Like he was seven year, uh, six years old. And we were going through the turbulence. And I asked him, he says, are you OK? He said, why not? I said, you're not scared? He says, well, if this is not more difficult than a, it's just like this. Like roller coaster is worse than that. Now you understand why I say I'm from the ancient times. So I'm preparing that nobody had any non-human activity. When they touched the Chen Fa Ke, they all threw up. And it's real. But when you read the story, you think, what the heck is that? This is very mysterious. No, it's all conditional. Yeah. The yeah. Iron yeah. The iron plate on yeah. Yeah. On the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You've never done that because the rebound the back. Yeah. Into your chest. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's it's like a, again it's like when I was a student touching home it was like a miracle it's like what the heck is that? But after many years we do this all the time right? Not that high level, but again the high level is also relative. Because against people who had never had any experiences of strangeness, your body can't take it. If you, know, you look at my uh, uh, Italy uh, workshop, there is a 20 minute thing uh, either on YouTube or on my website. And this lady came to participate for the first time. And she came with six people. She's a uh, young style master. And uh, when she saw this, she says, I just can't believe it. She walked up and says, I want to try. And as soon as she touched me, she was a ballet dancer. Her foot went up, and then she looked at me, and she said, that's my foot. <laughs> How did it get there? Because these moves are not normal. Her body responded. And imagine that she will only see me once, and will never have another experience. She'll think she had a dream, right? But after a few times, it becomes normal. Like for you, it's normal. Right, the first time you see so your uh, experience with a phone probably is great because you only touch them once. Right. You never get repeated, right. and it's in your head. Right. And uh, if we do, you do that with him every day. In the end, he said, "What? Which move? Doesn't that happen every day?" So, telling you the story, but at the same time, every story is conditional to something. It does not lessen the ability, and. Uh, if you don't think it's special skill, you are wrong. If you make too much out of it, you are also wrong. We humans actually do both. Some people will exaggerate and say, oh, it's totally unhuman, it's like God. And I worship the guy. That's totally wrong. But if you are there every day, say, yeah, he does it every day. That's wrong. It is special skill. It's like, you know, this is a sharpshooter. How many of them are there? Same thing. Yeah. Baseball player. Yeah, yeah. How many have that arm? Yeah, because it's Mitch, right? Mitch. And if he gives you a lesson and says, this is how what you do, so, yeah, I understand it. What's special? Well, what's special? Millions and millions of people do that. There are only more than a handful of people in the world who can give a good throw, right? That arm, special arm. You pay money for that arm. But the theory is very simple. You think about it. And I think I can do it. No. We actually, everybody's making that mistake. Specialists in basketball, they think they can golf. Right. Right. Well, you're so highly skilled. No, only that. You tra can't transfer that. 
and you do this, you be, you're good, but you're just good. You're normal, normally good. You have to be very, very special. So our ability is, this morning I used the word switching. Before switching, it is a transmission of power. So the transmission of power is you have to transmit this to here by locking here. As soon as you touch, you make move. This one is there as a point of reference. Now you move against it. Mm -hmm. Now it goes here. If you are not here, you move. It just goes like this. Right? But now you lightly touch because I don't like that. Somehow, this is very strange. Just touching changes me. So now you push me, you see. Watch. Mm -hmm. Push you see. Yeah, just relax and push. No, no, no. Just go and push. This is the push. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just by lightly touching, it changes. <laughs> This is called a short circuit. Like there is a power line, three miles long. You put a wire there, the power goes there. And you look at it, yeah, I understand. But when you do this, you think, I have to fight him. So when I fight him, can you see his power is enhanced by just touching. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not even touching. Especially when you demonstrate, oh, I just move my hand here, it doesn't work anymore, right? <laughs> but people think it's fake. But because I put a, a wedge in your mind, because you don't see it, but he's going to think, what the heck is he doing? I better prepare for that. Then you forget about the push. And if you can make it work, it's real. If you can't make it work, it's not real.